Hey guys, James Graves here and welcome back to yet another tutorial. It's going to be a quick one today. We're going to be building on a previous tutorial showing you how to turn your very own pocket pry bar into something which also opens your favorite cold beverages. Now the first step is to grab your pocket pry bar, which of course you've already made because you've watched my pry bar video. Then you're going to grab your favourite sharpie or equivalent permanent marker and you're going to draw the little bottle opener shape on there. It doesn't have to be too precise but if you've got a bottle opener at home that you can use to draw around then that will just make it a little bit easier. Next you want to put that pry bar in the vise and grab your, you guessed it, angle grinder. Now the easiest way to do this is to use a grinding disc but if you don't have one of those you can always use the cutting disc and the flap disc in a combination to get that little shape cut out. Now you're going to follow the same steps as before, this time using a half round or a round needle file. Get in there and just smooth out all those grinding marks and just tidy it up and make it look all lovely and smooth. If you've got a Dremel with a small enough sanding wheel, you could use that as well if you wanted to. But I just prefer the control that you get with a needle file and it just really allows you to smooth everything off nicely. Now of course you know what's coming up next, grab some 320 grit sandpaper or similar and just go over and get rid of those file marks and just clean up everything and smooth it all off. Now James's top tip for today, I actually prefer to use emery cloth as opposed to standard sandpaper for this type of job. You can buy it in a roll and it's just a lot more flexible and hard wearing than standard sandpaper and it doesn't crack in the same way. So you can really get it in there and you can work it back and forth and get a really nice even finish. Now while this step isn't strictly essential, if you've got a Dremel with a buffing wheel, I definitely recommend going over it now with a bit of polish and just cleaning it up and getting it as smooth as you possibly can. This will help give it a lovely smooth finish and help it to blend in with the spanner and make it look like it's always been there. There you have it guys, the new and improved version 2 of the Pocket Pry Bar. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do drop it a like comment below what you want to see next time and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Now you already know the next step, you're going to grab your favourite little needle file because I love those things. Now while this step isn't strictly essential, if you've got a butt did you melt, but did you melt, but did you melt? So there you have it guys, Pi Bar Part 2 V2 Version 2 Mark 2. Make sure. There you have it guys, version 2, Mark 2, Pocket Pry Bar Mark 2, version 2. Drop it a like, comment below what you want to see next time, and if you haven't subscribed already, go and do that. Now <laughs>